Welcome back. This is my budget update for the end of October edition. Um, $75 a month, um, roll over any surplus, or if I go over budget, roll over any deficit. Um, this past month I had $68 and some change. I did go over budget a lot. Um, so next month is $42 and some change. Um, luckily I have a whole lot of stuff that's probably gonna last me well into December, or at least into the range for my December budget. So uh, without, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, we're gonna go in the order that I see things, or need to get things out of my hands. Um, because I have a candle, which is one of several that I got off of Poshmark, but this is one. This is a uh, spiced cider. It's really, really nice. Um, it, it, it's spiced cider. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Uh, I just wanted to mention that this first so I can put it down now. Um, there's that. All right, so also in that Poshmark order was uh, this one also from White Barn. This is uh, Amber and Myrrh. This is kind of a Christmassy scent. Um, that's that. Um, and last one in that order was uh, Mainstay's Sweet Apple, um, which is kind of in that sort of candy apple tart, like a an apple flavored Jolly Rancher is kind of what this smells like. What is my hair doing? Oh my god. Um, but yeah, that's not gonna happen, is it? Okay. Um, so yeah, this smells kind of like a an apple Jolly Rancher. So that's that. Um, <laughs> and then in a separate Poshmark order, I got um, pumpkin. This one, which is a pumpkin souffle smells like pumpkin because that's the point as well as uh, vanilla cinnamon brulee um, so several other candles <laughs> and finally um, my anniversary was on Halloween um, and I count things coming in even if I didn't even if they were like a gift with purchase or an outright gift or something and so my boyfriend got um, one of my favorite candles. This is from A to Z Candle Company. It's their Falling Leaves scent. It's kind of a dupe for uh, leaves from Bath and Body Works, except a little bit, I think it's a little bit harder on the spices than that is. A little lighter on the apple and a little heavier on the spices, which I really, really like. And I love it so much. It's my favorite. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, and then, um, Ulta had this deal where, uh, you spend however much, I think it was like $30 on perfume and get a bunch of free samples. Um, and so I got another, uh, perfume sample set. Uh, this is the one from, these are all a little bitty and I'm going to hold them like this. Um, but it's, it was the sample set from, uh, Define Me. Um, and so it's the, each of these are, but they're like teeny tiny, but they're roller balls. So like what you see right now is like 10 uses. So it's quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so included in the set are Audrey and Clara and uh, Delphine um, and Peyton. Sophia, Isabel, and Harper. Um, and like with a lot of um, sample, set, sample sets in general, there's about half that I uh, like, and then two or three that I, I'm kind of iffy about. Um, but for me, it's always worth seeing that, um, just to kind of figure out what I do and don't like um, before I go and spend. All the money on it <laughs> um but i may well go and buy one or two full sizes once those are done once i figure out which one i like the most um and then yeah so i got a whole bunch of 
samples, um, perfume samples because of that. All of which I'm done and I literally just hung on to so I can do this video. Uh, but it was Perfect by Marc Jacobs, uh, Miss Dior, uh, Dior Joy, Dior Jador, and um, Libre by YSL. Um, yeah, so that is those. Uh, so that's the perfume stuff. And then I uh, um, Ulta had a gift with purchase of uh, spend $20 and get whatever. And I bought hand soap and um, forgot to opt out. <laughs> um, and also I just kind of wanted the, uh, the eyeshadow and the face wipe and the eye primer. So um, it all came in this funky looking bag. Um, and the free samples, uh, were the, uh, matte eye primer, which I actually really, really like. Um, this mattifying face primer, um, the, the New Heights Lifting Mascara, uh, one of the lip glosses in the shade, is a shiny lip gloss in the shade, uh, Bear, shiny sheer lip gloss in the shade Bear, um, Two fun looking eyeshadow brushes. One's kind of a. You gotta go. Are we gonna focus? Okay, maybe not. Um, so that one's a fluffier and this one's kind of flatter. Um, and. Um, as well as one of these, one of the wipes, um, where you literally I just put, put toner on this and kind of use it to wipe everything off. Really great. Love these things. And. Um, and then one of those little bitty eyeshadow palettes um, where it is more shimmers than mattes, which I'm not a giant fan of, but um, shimmers are all real nice, so it's good. I like it. And then finally, the first things I bought this month actually uh, were I needed some uh, running leggings and some jeans, and so I bought them. Um, I'm currently wearing one of them, uh, um, but yeah, it's just plain black Nike leggings. Um, I ran a half marathon in a, a last year and the leggings I wore finally, um, got too many holes uh, and I couldn't sew them back up again. So I needed some more leggings and so this was one pair and then this is another pair. I think this is more suited just for like everyday stuff, not necessarily for workouts. Um, maybe it's just the way I'm built, but the times I've gone running in these are, have not been great. Keep falling down. Again, maybe that's just how I'm built. Maybe I got the wrong size. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this is better suited for um, not workout stuff, but still, they're leggings, they're comfortable, they're whatever. Um, and then I got a pair of skinny jeans. Um, and I'm finally at a point where, so this is uh, skinny jeans, size 10, thought they were gonna be the right size, um, given the measurements on anything. They are a little bit big, um, which I guess is what happens when you lose 30 pounds in quarantine. Um, not 30, 25, however much, I don't even remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've lost a bunch of weight, so this is actually too big, kind of. Um, so that's that on that. Uh, so that's my budget for uh, the end of October. Again, went way over budget this month. Um, obviously I have one, two, three, four, five, six candles. So hopefully those will last me quite a while. Um, and I've noticed that candles are usually the thing that put me over budget. So again, hopefully those will last quite a bit indeed. Um, may find uh, a pair or two of jeans or work type trousers or work type shorts um, because uh, my uh, college program is finally coming to a close so I need to keep an eye out for regular day jobs um, because my fun job is also seasonal and COVID affected so that's fun um, so that's that so uh, I'll be looking for things, um, keeping an eye out for things, but 
trying not to buy too much. Um, what else? My, I'm also keeping an eye out for brown eyeliner because um, I have the e.l.f. liquid liner, but I think that's starting to dry out and uh, colorful eyeliner as well. But um, those are sort of lower down um, the priority. It's right now it's well, the blue colorful eyeliner is lower priority. Brown eyeliner, brown eyeliner is kind of a staple for me. So definitely want to keep an eye out for that. Um, so work trousers, brown eyeliner, maybe like a work shirt or a dress or something to pretend I can look like a reasonable adult who's almost 27. Uh, God, grief, I'm almost 27. I'm 26 and a half, whatever. Uh, um, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's that on that. That is my budget and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.